Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Blockchain Central. This is the first episode in our series aiming to explain why we still haven't seen a mainstream adoption of blockchain technology. In this week's first episode, we'll look at projects with the biggest promise so far and look at the main roadblocks of adoption. In the following episodes, we will break down the issues of scalability, governance, and financing. For the past several years, all blockchain enthusiasts, including our team here at the channel, have been talking about the benefits of adopting DLT technologies into multiple mainstream functionalities. I'd even go beyond that and say that many of us have been predicting a blockchain revolution. Yet years go by and we still haven't seen any mainstream success of the technology that promised to change the world as we know it. Why is that? First of all, let's define mainstream success. I think what is really needed is a Facebook or Amazon level of success, a solution that is useful and disruptive and it becomes a household name globally. We're all hoping for a blockchain app or a service that adds so much value that it becomes a blueprint for success for the companies to come. Let's start by looking at the projects that had the biggest promise of living up to the DLT hype. Then we'll try to find a reason why they haven't been a mainstream success. Arguably, the most promising projects include Ethereum, Augur, and the Lighting Network. I'm sure that the inclusion of Ethereum needs no explanation. The promise of a decentralized, autonomous, global computational platform is just a very attractive proposition. The thing with Ethereum, of course, is that it is more like an operating system. It's not appealing without a real powerful, groundbreaking, and popular app. Imagine an iPad without its apps. Most people wouldn't even have any use for it. Some argue that an app that would fulfill the potential of Ethereum is Augur. Augur is a decentralized protocol that allows for peer-to-peer -peer decentralized prediction markets. These markets can be used to place bets on future events. Of course, a single person making a prediction wouldn't be very effective. But if you aggregate knowledge from a diverse pool of experts, you're very likely to make a right prediction. Market participants are incentivized by being rewarded for the correct prediction. What's important, it's not only a forecasting tool, but could also have a viable economic function by allowing everyone to hedge against risk. If you want to learn more about prediction markets, make sure to check out this video. It all looks extremely promising, but in February 2019, DApp Radar reported that Augur had only 47 users and only 122 transactions in the past 24 hours. So. What's preventing it from going mainstream? Apart from a few reported issues with the app right after launch, it can't be denied that Augur itself demands a certain level of technical knowledge. Also, according to some analysts, the issue with Augur is more serious than just being user friendly. Due to the volatility price of Ethereum, it is difficult to anticipate Augur becoming a serious hedging tool. Ironically, the Ethereum to Fiat conversion would introduce too much unpredictability into a prediction market. On top of that, most people already have access to established hedging tools, which makes the use case for Agar a bit shaky. Another possible candidate for mainstream adoption is Bitcoin's Lightning Network. It is not a fully separate blockchain, but rather an add-on to the existing Bitcoin blockchain. Its goal is to facilitate faster micropayments without overloading the main blockchains. It sounds like a great idea, and the underlying architecture of the system has been praised by experts. So what's the problem? According to multiple reports, the network has been buggy to the point of users losing money. Many people justify the bugs by Lightning still being in beta, but until it's fully realized, we won't know if it can become the mainstream solution we're looking for. So what needs to happen for us to see a mainstream adoption of blockchain technology? Arguably, the biggest criterion is the underlying technology being completely invisible to the end user. Even though DLT is often described as a beautiful piece of engineering, most users do not really care. It's a bit like what's going on with Snapchat face filters. We hear that it's a marvel of augmented reality, but we only care if it works and is easy to use. It could seem like a fairly easy feat to achieve, but because blockchain is still a young technology and developers have to focus on overcoming technical difficulties, not enough effort can be devoted to making the user experience easy and fun. The second fundamental issue with mainstream success is scalability. Chances are, even if a killer app appeared and became successful, scalability issues would lead to a breakdown once too many users started to participate in the system. We'll analyze scalability in detail in a follow-up episode, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. 
The second important reason why we haven't seen mass adoption is the sheer number of projects. There are too many blockchain solutions and altcoins that are competing for our attention. What's more, most of them are complex, hard to understand, and are struggling with various technical issues. In addition, it is not helping that some of those projects turn out to be scams or disappear without a trace. Which brings us to our next point, bad PR. With so much drama connected to ICO scams, pump and dumps, and general market volatility, it is difficult for the mainstream audience to get invested in the technology. In order for this to change, regulatory compliance has to be approved. But here, we face another internal conflict. Compliance would require a certain level of centralization and oversight, as well as giving up a certain level of privacy. The DLT technology, in its very name, is constructed to counteract centralization attempts and its supporters are almost allergic to that word. Also, due to the global character of DLT, it might feel like our current divided world is not ready for a truly international application of blockchain. If even an established tech giant such as Google is struggling with copyright laws in the European Union, what chances does an emerging disruptive technology have? This concept of being ahead of its time is also relevant to one more aspect of blockchain development. Many forward-facing solutions depend on the success and development in other areas of technology. One example could be IOTA and the Internet of Things. If you want to see our episode on that, click here. So where's the breakthrough coming from? I wish I knew, but I don't. My prediction would be that it will come from an area we do not expect. If I were to bet on it, I'd say that massive adoption will steam from a service that brings value to the users without requiring them to provide any monetary input. Such a service, similar to Instagram or YouTube, would have an alternative way of generating income from the sheer size of the accumulated user base. It could be gaming or dating apps. It could be also copyright, where immutability, public access, and smart contracts could clearly benefit the population. One way or the other, I have a feeling we're about to find out. Many people predict that 2019 will be the year of mass adoption. Fingers crossed. Before you go, please note that this content does neither represent financial, legal, or tax advice, nor is this supposed to be understood or interpreted as solicitation to buy or sell any securities, coins, or tokens. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Blockchain Central to never miss a beat. See you in the next one.